Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. I want my audience to know we're talking about Johnny Christmas book, Swim Team, Small Waves, Big Changes. Johnny, great book. I like it. Uh, cartoon style. Kind of cute. Thank you, Valda. Thanks so much. Well, you wrote Swim Team uh, to kind of dispel a myth and help people overcome some realities. Could you tell me a little bit in synopsis format about that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, the, the, the start of Swim Team started when I was a young person. I was five years old and I fell into a swimming pool and I almost drowned. And um, that stayed with me. It was a seminal event for me. And I, and I was kind of trying to work my way through it as a, as, a, as a young person. And it wasn't until I was an adult that I started taking adult swim classes and, and realizing and talking to other people who had swimming uh, issues, um, uh, other Black people that I knew. And that's when, uh, you know, you come to realize when you're five years old, you don't actually have any power. You don't build swimming pools at five. You know, you have no um, say in where these, these pools are placed in. And, and access to, to pools and the, the history uh, of why pools are put in certain places and what was restricted, uh, you know, especially in the black um, population particularly. So, uh, so I wanted to have that as, as kind of a central point because it was a central point in my life and then have this you know, wonderful tale of friendship and team sport and, and all that, that, that comes out of uh, Bree's experience, our, our protagonist when she falls into a pool um, cause I think it's, it's very important thing to shine a light on because, um, black youngsters are eight times more likely to drown in a swimming pool than their white friends. And, um, and it's all down to access, you know, it, it's, um, so dispelling that myth that black people don't swim is very important. They, a uh, lot of, uh, our, our people don't swim because they just don't have access to swimming pools. That's why not because of any, uh, other, uh, failing. Well, I was going to, I was going to ask you, what's that access obstacle that, and, what you're saying, and if I could uh, re-say that, you're saying African Americans have a lower rate of being able to swim, knowing how to swim because of access. Yeah, sixty-four yeah, percent of uh, of uh, Black people, uh, according to CDC, don't know how to swim, and it's because of uh, uh, there were there was segregation laws uh, to act to limit um, uh, Black people's access to to swimming pools, to uh, beaches. Um, and there's, there was a long history of this and the, the, the laws were only struck down, you know, pretty recently. And then after that, um, a lot of pools became private. So, uh, and then there were just wasn't access. So pools that were left in, in, um, you know, urban communities were either shut down, were overcrowded, poorly maintained. And, um, so that makes it so that, uh, youngsters don't have that access to the pool on a regular basis to get regular swimming lessons, to, to get comfortable in a way that um, will allow them to become, you know, fully functional kind of swimmers because it's just a mechanical function, right? It's like walking. If you start early enough, you will, you only remember when you started walking because you started so early. Um, and, and the same is said about swimming, but if you only go to a pool once or twice a year, um, then you don't have that access. You don't get that, that ability to become comfortable with it. And parents who don't know how to swim are less likely to have children who know how to swim. I saw that little note on your uh, profile. Um, what will swim team tell parents or children? Uh, what it'll tell children, I think, and, and parents is to, uh, to try and try and try again. Bree, our protagonist, uh, is nervous around water. She's nervous about a few other things. We, we have, you know, uh, anxiety in the, in, in the book, you know, dictated by these stormy kind of thought balloons. And, um, but what she learns is that even with, with her swimming in her school and her friendships is that if you try and you try and you try again, you'll get better at a thing every time you try it. Um, no one's a natural at anything right out, off the rip. And I think it's a, an important lesson uh, for young people because I know when I was a kid, I, I was, uh, I thought I was bad at math, you know, uh, and come to find out, it was just that I just didn't, 
I took that idea and I ran with it instead of like, oh, if I just kept trying, I'd have gotten better at it. I probably wouldn't work at NASA, but I'd be better at, at mathematics. And I think that's an important lesson for, for, for all of us to, to just keep iterating, iterating, iterating. We'll get better and better uh, every time. Getting better and better. Well, you're pretty, you're pretty good at swim team. Swim team is the book, small ways, big challenges is the subtitle. And I'm giving away, Johnny, I'm giving away a few copies today to my audience. If you'd like to get a copy of Swim Team, simply go to my social media Facebook page and look for the icon, like it, share it, and I might send you a copy. Um, Johnny, if they don't win a copy, where can they get a copy? Well, it's widely available. You can find it at uh, your local bookstore, an independent bookstore. You can find it at your big box bookstore. You can find it on Amazon. Um, and, uh, and, and when in doubt, you can go to the HarperCollins website and uh, you can find it there as well. All right. I've got a. Uh, I'll take this off of. I'll take this one off of social media, off of Instagram. They want to know: Do you have kids, and did you teach your kids how to swim early? I do not have uh, kids, um, and uh, yeah, so 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 no. But I do have nieces and nephews, and, and they're taking swim lessons now. All right. Well, that'll suffice all the time. Johnny Christmas, thank you so much for just such a beautifully illustrated book. Love the book, and wish you the best of luck with swim team. Well, Wilder, thanks so much for having me. I appreciate this. It's my pleasure. I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show, broadcast on radio and television. And this is My Phone Pouch. My Phone Pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.